Hello Robloxian, so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a regenerate script. This is going to be part um, part two of my how to make a tycoon series. So the first thing that you're going to need to do is insert a script into the game. And if you didn't watch part one, um, in that one we learned just how to do the owner name and then the become tycoon owner with the script right there. But um, so in this one, we're going to make a regenerate script. So um, what you can do, just that you can tell the difference between all the different scripts, you can just name this one regen and put it in between um, these two factories right here. So then whenever you open up the first one, you have the script and the other factory. So just right there, all right? And then open it up. And on the first line, or you know, obviously you're gonna delete the first line like usual. You're gonna write script dot parent dot factory and then back up and then model and then colon clone and then you're going to jump down to the fourth line and do function region and then two parentheses facing each other oops and I missed did function I'm always making spelling mistakes. I should probably watch my spelling a little bit closer. But, and then you're gonna jump down and do model, and then remove. And then two parentheses, and then model equals backup colon clone, and then two parentheses, and model dot parent equals Oops, I misspelled parent. Luckily, I'm able to catch my spellings. And, you know, I don't go through it making the, without knowing that I made a mistake. All right, and then script dot parent. And then model colon make joints. And then two parentheses. And then that's it for this section. And right there, I misspelled model. All right, so now you're gonna jump down to line 11. You're gonna do while true do, and then you're gonna jump down and just do a wait script. So, I mean, you know, however long you wanna do it, I'll just do 1.5. Um, and then I believe that that's, um, the wait is just how long it takes until the tycoon comes back. So like after the person leaves, you know, how long it is until it's back to normal. So, I mean, you know, you could do it instantly, but, you know, whatever you want to do. Owner name dot value. And you're going to do the squiggly dash and equals and two quotation marks. Then, and then you're going to do if not game dot players oops dot players and we're gonna do a colon and find first child and we're gonna do a parenthesis and script dot parent dot factory and then owner name dot value and then you're going to do a parenthesis and then then and then you're going to do region and then two parentheses facing each other and that's going to be it so now um, you can go and close the script and see if it works so open up go to the test menu and open up a server if you do the regular one like just playing or testing it right there uh it's not really going to work because you won't be able to see if the tycoon regenerated after you left because it leaves the game completely um so yeah so you may want to open up a server with a player and for some reason my computer's taking a really long time to load all right, there we go. All right, so now what we're gonna do to just make things simple is we're just gonna 
um, put the game right there on that one and then the server this one right here so now and then we're just going to close out of all these that we can actually see all right so now we have full control so we can see right there all right so whenever you touch it it disappears and then if you leave the game see it comes back so it worked all right so now yeah that's it i hope you enjoyed the video if you learned it make sure if if you learned it um, if you learned something, make sure to leave a thumbs up and leave a comment of what you want to see in the next video. Um, I'll probably just do some of the basic, like how to make a money maker or something like that. Unless, you know, y'all leave comments asking for something else, then of course I'll do that. But yeah, so leave a comment down below of what you thought of the video and share it with your friends if you found it helpful. And I guess I'll see you guys next time.